Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel, the number one YouTube channel for you to level up your communication skills, learn the art of public speaking, social skills, and digital content creation to take your message to the world. For today's episode, we're going to be entering the world of public speaking, and I'm going to teach you the art of dominating eye contact for your next speech. If you're ready, if you're excited, go on and hit the like button right on below. So for you to understand how to do eye contact, I want you to first understand how not to do eye contact. And for you to understand this, I have to share a story with you. This was around fifth grade, and around that time, I had a teacher named Mr. Washington. And Mr. Washington came to our class one day, and he said that we were going to be doing presentations. We had to choose our favorite Greek god, we had to dress up as that god, and we had to deliver a presentation from the perspective of that god. We had a few weeks to prepare. At that time, I was very nervous, but I, you know, I was a pretty young guy at that time. I didn't really know what speech anxiety was. So I was like, all right, uh, I'll eventually figure it out. Well, as the presentation started, there was this one day that a kid named Reed, R-E-I-D, was supposed to go up. So Mr. Washington said, all right, Reed, you're up next. And Reed, he was sitting all the way in the back of the class. He stood up confidently and he said, Mr. Washington, I'm not going to give my presentation. I'm too nervous. And at this point, all the kids in the class were like, hmm, you're too nervous, <laughs> what? And Mr. Washington was not having it. Mr. Washington said, listen, Reed, if you don't get up and deliver your presentation, then you're going to fail this project. But Reed was being stubborn. Reed was like, listen, Mr. Washington, I am not going to give the presentation. And the two were just going back and forth, back and forth. It went from 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and so on. And at this point, I was a little confused. It's because Reed was sitting all in the back of the class. He was standing up at this point. Everyone was turned around looking at him. So in some ways, he was sort of public speaking. I was like, why not just go from the back of the classroom to the front, deliver your three minute presentation, and we'll be done. You'll pass the class and the next person can go up. But Reed just wouldn't give a speech. Well, as class ended that day, I approached Reed and I asked Reed, Reed, you were pretty much public speaking the entire time. I mean, why didn't you just go up on stage and deliver your speech? And Reed said, Armani, when I was talking in the back of the room, I was only looking at Mr. Washington. I knew by the time that I got up on stage to give my presentation, I wouldn't just be looking at Mr. Washington anymore, but rather I would be looking at the entire class. And that's what made me nervous. That story right there, it gave me a lot of insight back then, but during that time, I didn't really have the awareness to put all the puzzle pieces together. But as I've grown up and I've gotten a lot more public speaking experience under my belt, I was able to understand the true lesson behind Reed's story. Reed was approaching eye contact with a huge, huge fatal mindset mistake. He was approaching it with a scanning mindset. Now the scanning mindset is when you approach eye contact by just scanning the audience. You ever seen someone do that before? Most beginner speakers do that. So if you're a beginner speaker, listen up closely because you may have the tendency to do this. You try to make eye contact with everyone. That's why as you're giving your presentation, you are basically just looking around the audience and you're talking in such a way where everyone is going to get eye contact. This is what you're coming off looking like. And this is bad. This is bad for a few reasons. Number one, it's bad because you are trying to do too much. And when you're, you're trying to do way too much, you're trying to look at all these different eyeballs, what's happening is that you're not as focused on your presentation. You just got a flurry of eyeballs looking at you. That's pretty daunting. That's one mistake. Two is that you feel a shit ton of public speaking anxiety. Listen, you want to get all your public speaking anxiety done before your speech. During the day of your speech, you want to be at that point where you got your nerves out of the way. You don't want to be making yourself even more panicked while you're on stage. And three is that your audience members, they don't like it. When you're just scanning the audience, no one feels as though that they've developed a strong connection with you, especially your presentation. 
So Romani, you're telling me not to scan the audience? Then what should I do? What you should do is you should adopt the lock and hold method the lock and hold method. By using this method, you make your job much easier and the entire public speaking process becomes more fun for not only you, but your audience as well. The lock and hold method is when you find that one person, you direct eye contact to them, you lock, you hold, and you deliver your next points to them. As a beginner speaker, you really need to just make eye contact with three people. One from the left side of your audience, one from the middle side of your audience, and one from the right side of your audience. So as you're public speaking, now you're delivering your points to one person, and then you can smoothly transition to the other person, deliver your points, and then you can wrap up with the third person, and you can just keep switching and transitioning at your own pace. But Armani, uh, just three people? Well, what if I have an audience of 50 people? Won't the other 47 find it rude? Well, here's the thing, here's the beauty. The person that you're looking at, everyone that's sitting around that person will also think you're looking at them. So hypothetically, say I'm looking at Susie and I'm delivering a point to Susie. Everyone that's sitting around Susie will also think that I'm delivering my points to them. So this is a perfect instance of you killing many birds with one stone. The beauty about the lock and hold method is that it allows you to calm yourself down. You're not looking at 50 people and doing surface level connections. You're not scanning the audience. Rather, now you are much more focused on your presentation, but also the audience, they feel like they've gotten to connect with you on a deeper level. If I was doing these YouTube videos and I was just kind of like looking like this the whole time, and just delivering my points like this, would you feel connected? You wouldn't. You would feel like my mind was elsewhere. But the fact that I'm just walking and holding and speaking into the camera, it allows you to feel more connected with me in the process. Your audience is virtually the same exact way. So if you're a beginner speaker, start off with three people. That's it. As you start gaining more experience, you can start adding more and more people and it'll eventually get to a point where you don't have to put too much conscious effort into it. You just start locking and holding on autopilot. Here's the biggest insight that I can give you regarding public speaking. You're not talking to a crowd, okay? You're not talking to a crowd. You're simply having one-on-one -on -one conversations with different members in the crowd. This mindset shift is huge. It's a small little tweak, but it's huge, okay? Stop talking to a crowd. Start having one-on-one -on -one conversations with unique individuals. By doing this, your eye contact will improve. Fam, lock and hold is the way to go. Start practicing and you'll start seeing engagement in your speech skyrocketing. For more tips on public speaking and how to dominate the stage, you want to check out the Armani Archives Public Speaking and Storytelling Edition. In these archives, you are going to get tons and tons of practical tips on how to prepare your presentation, how to develop a compelling story, and most importantly, how to deliver it like a rock star. To grab your copy today, go on over to the description box, hit the link, and download it. Thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.